We kick off about the end of February if the weather's uh, favourable to put on nitrogen and all the winter crops just to kick start them for the season. It's all liquid nitrogen we apply. After that's done, we start sowing spring barley maybe mid-February if the conditions are right. But it must be dry for, for sowing spring barley and uh, that takes maybe two or three weeks if we're lucky. The seeds are sown about 40 to 50 millimetres deep and uh, after the, the drill has done the job, we roll all the fields to consolidate and conserve moisture and also to press in the stones because they do a lot of damage to the combines. So hopefully we try and get finished by mid-April and then all the crops are sprayed maybe two or three times just to protect them, keep them clean, to maximise yield. And uh, that goes on until well into June. June time is get all the grain stores cleaned, hoovered, disinfected, spick and span ready for the, the new season. And the trailers are all cleaned, serviced, grain dryers cleaned, everything ready to go. With a bit of luck, we get some holidays in July, just to get the batteries boosted a bit, ready for harvest. Harvest commences roughly early August, with the winter barley first. Then the oilseed rape is swathed, leaves it in rows for about 12 to 15 days. Then we pick it up with the combines. That's mid-August, hopefully. Spring barley is usually ripe about third week in August, coming out to September. That's a big job. And uh, then we cut the wheat, hopefully, to get finished by mid-September. While this is going on, the oilseed rape for the following season is sown in mid-August. And then the winter barley goes in about mid-September, that's the optimum time, and then the wheat. I like to try and get finished the wheat by mid-October. Then there's quite a bit of maintenance, drainage, ditches, cutting hedges, so on, and uh, we start ploughing for next year's spring barley. So it just goes right round in a cycle. 